So hello, good day. This is uh, Coach Jariel for the Marine Engineering Simulator Series. So tonight I'll be demonstrating how to start up from a cold ship running two generators. So uh, preparing, uh, running, and putting the generators on automatic. We'll also set up the boiler then provide steam to your turbo generator run your turbo generator and put it in the bus bar and of course set it to automatic so that would be the the scope of tonight so let's first run the simulator then let's see what your process directory start with your emergency generator so start off with the hand pump so make sure that you have uh, at least 200 bars in order for this emergency generator to start by hydraulic accumulated pressure so let's wait So now we are not connected by shore power, so the ship is literally dead, it's cold. So after you have pumped it to 200 bars, stop and press the start from your accumulator. Wait until your emergency generator reaches up to 1,800 RPM at least. So once it's running, you can put it into automatic. But before you can put it into automatic, let's go to your electric power plant. Turn your voltage control on. So let me just lower the volume. Turn your turn your voltage control on. Then connect it to the breaker. Connect your main bus bar 2 to your main bus bar 1. Then now you can put it in automatic. So once you have done that, go to your emergency switchboard. Turn all of the circuit breakers in the switchboard. Leave the spares. Then connect the transformer. Okay. So in preparation for your other machineries, you can go to your process directory. 71. Engage them all. Except for the spares. Go to your emergency switch, uh, to your main switchboard feeders. So you will have to come back for this once you have one generator running and connected to the main bus bar. So that you can engage this main transformer. So engaging this main transformer allows you to 
have remote control over your machinery so now that you have the emergency generator running you can only run and prepare emergency machinery so let's start with your starting air system I want you to trace the starting air line for emergency starting air back to your emergency air compressor emergency starting air compressor set it to local then press on as good engineering practice line up your main starting air system don't forget to provide cooling water and leave it in remote next you have to prepare your service air system provide cooling so line up all the valves then just leave it on remote okay now that it's running let's go to your diesel generator one as you can see it has a set of numbers and lines so what you need to do first is to prime your diesel generator so you cannot prime it if you have low level sum tap. so fill it up up to 50 once it's on 50 shut up the valve line up your loop oil then run your priming pump you can set this to auto so that it will stop later on when your generator is also running okay. now let us uh, start lining up the fuel so you see this dark orange line open one filter open valve 116 go to 005 then line up all these four valves okay now this should be good then set your preheater to auto afterwards let's prepare your seawater cooling system since we're at port, because it's a cold ship, you have to take suction from the high sea chest. Open the suction, select one fresh water cooler, open the steam condenser, inlet the supply valve, open the supply valve for your DG2 and DG1 fresh water coolers and open one for your air condition then from your three-way valve here you have a recirculating shot of valve open that and open the overboard so once you have lined up all the valves run your auxiliary pump auxiliary seawater pump so there's an alarm of low pressure so running your auxiliary pump will supply the necessary sea water pressure then you have to put this temperature control in automatic okay next is your freshwater system this is a closed system so there is no discharge so you can start from the freshwater coolers open freshwater cooler one open the low temp freshwater generator half bypass valve so this allows circulation here your three-way valve temperature control then now open a valve going to your air compressors then just trace up the line high temperature is circulating bypass valve open this then open your bypass for your preheater inlet 
to the main engine outlet from your main engine and the vent going towards your expansion valve. Then now you can start running your auxiliary fresh water pumps, the high temp and the low temp. Okay, now let's go back to your diesel generator one. So now you have at least 12 or uh, 13 bars. Uh, you can start the generator with only 9 or 10. So let's start this. So we will have an alarm. So the low temp and the high temp pressure. So the high temp pressure, high temp uh, fresh water temperature, and the low temp temperature outlet. They will all have these alarms. So. They are recognized or they are recognizing the current state. So meaning there's low temperature, low pressure, they are now building up. So now that your diesel generator one is running, go to your props directory, electric power plant. Remember, you cannot parallel a single generator. So in order for you to be able to parallel generators, you need at least two. So from here, Turn on your voltage control. Wait until the voltage and your frequency is stabilized. If it's stable now, go to your semi-auto synchronization panel. Press DG1. Okay, there's an alarm. So the inlet temperature is still low. The normal is 60. So we can just leave it as is, as it's already rising. Okay. So when you see the ready light, you can now connect. Okay. Your emergency machineries will not run because of power. It's not being supplied anymore. So we have to go to your bus directory. 72 main switchboard feeders turn on this main transformer then go immediately to your seawater system run one seawater pump put it to remote both one and two go to your fresh water system run one LT one HT put this to it automatic from local put it to remote acknowledge the alarms then you can pump water to your expansion tank until 0.5 or 0.6 so from here you can go to your starting air you can put the emergency starting air compressor to remote. Then, go to your panel directory. Pump control 102. You can see that there are ready lights on. Then you can put them to auto. Starting air compressor 1, set it to master. Then set them to auto. So now let's go back to your freshwater system. You'll have to stand watch as we load up your expansion tank. So you have to take note. For now we can prepare your DG2. Same. Fill up your LO SAM tank. Line up the loop oil. Set your preheater to auto. Open one fuel valve. Loiter filter. Open valve 116. 
offset your pump okay timing pump to auto shut off the valve when it reaches 50 then you can now start your DG2 so now let's go back to your fresh water system and let's just wait till it reaches 0.6 shouldn't be long. In reality, when you run the diesel generator, you have to open first the indicator box, then turn the flywheel at least one or two revolutions, and after finishing that, you have to observe whether your indicator box are Uh, displaying uh, exits of liquids so if there is liquid uh, if there are liquids exiting your indicator dock do not proceed with the starting procedure or if you, did, you don't see any liquids continue to blow or air blow your diesel generator to see if there are liquids inside your cylinders uh, liquids inside the cylinder such as excess oil Lube oil, uh, diesel oil, or water indicates that there are leaks, cracks in your cylinder head. So, best not to start a damaged diesel generator. Okay. So, now let's go to your electric power plant. So, as you can see, the frequency is at 59.78 we have to raise until 60 so when you're using the governor do not leave it in either positions for too long wait until it responds then release so turn on your voltage control for DG2 be sure to check if their frequencies are compatible. So at 60.38 we will see. So let's go back to your so these are generator one you can set to remote. Your DG2 can also be set to remote now. Then we can go to your panel directory. Diesel generator 2, 1, 4, 3. So, synchroscope. Set to DG2. So, we have to check if delta V and delta F are lit. So, if it's not lit, we can decrease in the governor. Because it's 60.10. So, the other one is 60.38. So, it's higher too high so now at 60.27 the rotation is just right in the fast direction and the speed is also just right so you can see delta F and delta V is lit wait for your circuit breaker on the green then connect okay so now we have two parallel generators don't forget once you have two generators running, you can start running your fans. So that you have positive pressure inside your engine. Once you have that, you can go to your power chief generator control. You can see that you have the ready lights on so set your diesel generator 1 to automatic priority 1 diesel generator 2 automatic priority 2 so if the power requirements are too low 
generator 2 or whichever generator having the lower priority will be shut down by the system and put on standby. And the single generator who can carry the load will just remain none. Okay. So now you have two generators parallel and set to auto. So now let's start lining up your steam generation plant for the boiler. So you have to open your vent first to depressurize. Trace your water lines. So you have a circulating inlet valve here. You have the circulating outlet valve down. So this will pass through your circulating pumps here. And pass through below. So the direction of circulation will be there. Just follow the arrows. Going to go down. Next is trace up your feed water pumps. Open both. Got your exhaust boiler. Set the damper to automatic. So meaning at nine bars. So when you have a boiler that has nine bars pressure, it will automatically damp it to your steam condenser. So, let's go now to your oil-fired boiler. Set 1, circulating pump to auto. The sunning. Set the number 2 again to automatic. Go to your boiler combustion. First, set your burner management to low and DO because we have no uh, HFO available. Now set your three-way valve to your diesel, run the DO pump. Now, we need air since you don't have atomizing steam. Set your three-way valve selector to atomizing air. Open the atomizing air. Then, Reset your boiler. So when your boiler is reset, you have to start your boiler air fan. Then set your airflow control to auto, fire flow control to auto. Next is oxygen control, then master. So wait till the burner management light is on, then turn it on. So now the DO pump will get diesel oil from your service tank. Then it will pump it to your burners. Now the purge sequence has started. Purge sequence is removing flammable gases inside your boiler furnace. After the purge, then you can own. Then you can start firing. So your pilot fuel pump will run in a while, as it will supply pilot oil, your burners. Then your main DO pump will now be supplied to your main burners. There, you have fire. So let's talk about your steam generation plant. The vent is open so that the insides of your burner uh, boiler can be depressurized first until you reach the right pressure. So in real life, you don't fire up the boiler and run it right away. Uh, we have to execute intermittent firing. Depending on the size of the boiler, it will range from 24 hours to 48 hours of intermittent firing. We haven't run your feed water pumps yet because we have to let the water warm up. So now, the level is rising. 
because the water is expanding slowly. Their temperature is now uh, rising to 36. We'll wait for it to reach boiling point and to see if there is for, uh, a pressure buildup inside of your furnace and your uh, boiler drum. while waiting you can prepare your steam condenser so it has a connection from your turbo generator so let's go back first okay so we still have a bit of time so turbo generator you have a high hot well level so proceed your vacuum condenser run your main condensing pump and auxiliary condensing pump open your seawater flow adjustment valve set it to 20% opening so that you have 80% water here then you can also start your vacuum pumps So we'll wait till you have one more. Then, as we are waiting, you can fill up the ELO tank for your turbo generator. Open one valve from your filters. Open the cooler. Then let's wait till the level reaches 50. Once it's at 50, start running your priming pump, set it to automatic, then visit your vacuum condenser. So now at low levels, you can shut off the auxiliary condensate pump, check on your boiler, so it's now nearly one bar so when it reaches one bar you can close the vent uh, your manual control for the level set it to zero run your automatic put it in automatic and run the main feed water pump then let's go back to your steam condenser once it's in the right, once it's in the right uh, vacuum pressure, shut off one vacuum bulb. Go back to your turbo generator. Reset your alarm. Now switch the source from your exhaust and switch it to your to the oil fired boiler. Since we have water in the line, since we have 100% water index, open the drain, remove the water from your pipes, then open your ceiling steam, ceiling steam inlet, ceiling steam outlet, and your turbo generator steam outlet shut off fan. So once you have emptied the water, close the drain, engage your turning gear, let it run for at least 5 minutes, but here we're just going to run it uh, after 30 seconds. Disengage your turning gear, so we only do this to warm up the gears, then you have to reset. 
So now that we have uh, steam at 256 degrees Celsius at 9 bars, but now start opening your inlet supply line at 15%. So now your turbo generator is running. So it's good practice. We have to open steam lines in increments. Don't open it uh, abruptly because it may result in explosions and casualties, serious or fatal injuries. So let's say five minutes has passed. So we'll just simulate five minutes is 30 seconds. So open it by another increment of 5, so 20. Watch out for your vibrations and speed. There will be a critical uh, critical speed. So you have to skip that critical speed. You don't have to stay there long. So once you see that the vibration is too high, increase the feed of your steam so that it will turn faster so now take it to 25 So now you see it's nearing 40. 25 is your critical speed. Raise it to 30. So now once it reaches 30, it starts going down. 25% is your critical speed. That's 25% opening of your steam inlet valve. So you can increase it a little more to 35. Then we will check with your steam generation plan. Okay. So right now the only uh, only consumer that we have for your steam is your turbo generator. We'll prepare for another video for all the other consumers or I can still do it here. Add five more, so from 35 to 40. So the higher, the higher the steam supply is, the lower the vibration goes. So now at 40, at 5,700 RPMs, your Motorized pump will automatically shut down and your pump coupled to your turbo generator is now running on its own. So raise it to 45. For the data plate here, it says turbine speed should be 6,400 RPM. So we're nearing that speed, so raise 45 to 50. And by 50%, we will reach 6,400 RPM. So let's just wait for it to stabilize. And for good measure, you can add a lot, uh, 5%, so 55. So it will maintain above 6,400. So your turbo generator is now running. You can check with your oil-fired boiler so that you'll have consumers 
So you can just apply it here in your bank in this section, which requires 4.2 bars. So let's go to your bunker tanks. Set here to 95. 95% opening. This is just for speedy uh, speedy uh, heating practices, but you don't really open it to almost full. Just open it uh, sometimes crack open or at the most half open. So settling tanks, open just the valves. The set point is at 65 degrees. Service tank, open both. So at diesel, you have 35, at HFO, 65. Sludge tank, it's already open. Main engine preheater. Open first the inlet of your high temp water. Open your preheating valve. Close the bypass and just wait till the temperature raises. So here, open the valve going to your PG turbo generator. Then, feed water tank, open the large valve here below. Then back, aircon and accommodations. Open the seawater supply from above. Open the steam here below and the fresh water. So, once you see the ready light is on, turn it on. Go back. You have your hide the core system. So this is will take uh, this will take a while. But first prepare all the other valves for your consumers. Do not open the steam until there is water. So now run these two hydro core valve uh, pumps. Set it to automatic control. Wait till you reach the level at 18 18 decimeters then you will open the makeup valve for your air to pressurize the tank and we'll wait until it shuts off these two uh, these two pumps hydropower pumps so let's just wait So now we have two alarms. So purifier steam pressure is low since we have more consumers. So boiler steam pressure is out uh, four bars. So our steam generation plant should be firing up again. So let's go back. Let's just wait for it to load up. So it's nearing the desired level. So you have to stand by here at the makeup pump. Once it reaches 18 decimeters, then open your 
You have to open your makeup bag to pressurize the tank. So open it now, watch until it reaches 3.8 and your pumps will shut down. So cut, uh, cut the pressure, shut up your makeup valve. Open the outlet of your hydroport tank. So once there is uh, water in the line, open your steam, run your pumps and you're good to go. So now let's go to your cross directory power plant. So your turbo generator is running. So we have to connect it to the bus bar. Go to your panel directory, turbo generator. So the frequency is not seen here, so you have to provide the excitation. So press on. Press your single scope. Put the selector to TG. Check if delta F and delta V is lit. If so, wait or stand by at the circuit breaker. Once your indicator light reaches 11 o'clock or 5 minutes before midnight, connect it. So once it's connected, Go to your panel directory, 101, generator control, since it's in auto or ready to auto, press auto, then go to your process directory, electric power plant. So now you have three generators in automatic, two diesel generators, one on standby, and your turbo generator parallel with your DG1. You also have a boiler that's in automatic that is producing steam and you have also supplied steam to your consumers. So that's it for our marine engineering simulator series for tonight. So this is the red state of your uh, told ship. So we'll continue later on. So I hope you've learned something from me tonight. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, clarifications, or violent reactions, do not hesitate to contact me and uh, tell to me. Okay? So I'll be seeing you again soon. So good night, and I hope that this is useful for your studies. Thank you.